What's up, guys? It's John. You got Schmill. We are in person for the first the first podcast on this channel since I guess not counting the NCAA preview since like August. Yeah, since August when we did the college football preview. Oh boy, how things have changed. Yeah, <laughs> it's just <sighs> ha- almost half those teams not getting a bowl game later. And uh, well, this is this is not a college preview though. This is for the NFL. Um, Josh is not here because he's having car loser. troubles. Yeah, he's a loser. Um, and we also were unable to procure any guests, so it's just the two of us. Well, if Josh just picks at the end, hopefully. If not, then that, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> if not, then he just goes zero and sixteen. Yeah, we'll just give. We'll pick all the wrong games. Yeah, so day. Josh takes the Browns again and the Jaguars, and <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> that'd be awful. Takes the underdog in every single game. All right, uh, so uh, last week, do you remember how we did? Oh, jeez. I have it in front of me if you want. You'll me. have to go through it, my friend. All right, so Josh went eleven and three, leading us all and uh, picking up two games on the both of us because we both did nine and five. Uh, however, let me if I can do this real quick. Schmill, you got your lock right. Your lock was uh, Indianapolis, and you got your upset wrong. Your upset was Chicago. Uh, me and Josh also both got our upsets wrong. My upset was Baltimore over Dallas, and Josh's was. Uh, Tennessee over Indianapolis. However, um, Josh also got his lock wrong. His lock being Carolina or New Orleans. Mine was Carolina in that yeah. game, and I got that one right. Yeah, you did. And I am now, I am now two bucks in the green after, after I that. Still bet can't believe the awry. Patriots lost. <laughs> I cannot believe it. Uh, well, anyway, we're on week twelve, which means that the first time since week three, we are picking sixteen NFL games. That's right. <laughs> no more bye weeks. Well, until next week. Well, yeah, next week we have. Really, one real team on by, so that's okay. One real team on by. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's get started with the Thanksgiving games, I guess. Uh, let's start with the first one, eleven thirty Central Time. This one's on CBS. Get the I don't know why it's on CBS. But... So I guess we got the Minnesota Vikings on the road against the Detroit Lions. Detroit's always going to be on Thanksgiving. Yes. And we actually get a pretty good one to start off. This is, right. I, would, I would say, probably the best of the day. I think I believe the Lions have won their last three Thanksgiving games. Is that true? How they really? Yes. I, After I losing seven this. straight before yeah. that. I, that's pretty good. <laughs> and yeah. right now, they've won five of their last six after a one and three start. They are six and four, right. just like the Vikings. Um, I think the Lions will get it done. You in think this so? Game. Yeah, at home. Um, they're, all, every game's been close for them. They've trailed in the fourth quarter. I think every single game. Man, but that, really? But the fact they they pulled out six of those has um has shows a lot of resolve in the team. And I think even though Minnesota appeared to have some kind of life last week, I do think the Lions are better than the Cardinals. I would not have mm-hmm. thought to say that preseason. But yeah. uh, right now it looks like the Lions are really the better team, the hotter team for sure. The Lions, fun fact, have uh, have not won or lost a game by more than seven all year. Yep. Through ten games. I wonder the last time that's happened. If it's happened. Uh... Anyway, the line is two and a half here. Detroit is favored, so both teams are eligible for locks, but you can't pick Minnesota as an upset. Right. Uh, but I am taking Minnesota to win this one. Oh. Uh, they, I don't want to say they've turned it around because, I mean, they got one win, but they did beat a, a stinky Arizona team. A stinky, there But we they go. did win it. They did win it. They've got <laughs> some sort of momentum, and I'm, I believe in the power of defense in this yeah, game. Yeah, that's right, and um, the Lions defense is not very good. No, it's not. I might, have to stream it's got, I might have to stream them this week in a fantasy league. They've got some good <laughs> players, but they're not overall a good defense yet. They've That's still true. got a little bit of building to do. That, that is true. Um, I don't know. Matthew Stafford didn't do that. He was efficient last week. But, yeah. he, but he's shown to be able to play against Minnesota. Yep. And I, don't, I just don't trust that offense the Vikings have to just keep up with the Lions. I think the Lions can put... We'll put more points than they did last time on them. And the Vikings have not been that great on the road as well. No, that, Most of their wins have come good at point. home. Well, uh, they've gotten two wins on the road. Both of them were early, though. So, Yeah, so this game finished in overtime. Detroit won it. It's 22-16 to last mm-hmm. time they played. So we'll see if Minnesota evens this one up by winning on the road or whether Detroit takes the sweep. But right. we are split on this one. Yeah, we'll we'll show Josh's picks at the end of the video. Yeah, we won't know we won't know consensus yet unless you know we pick together. Then we'll know. Right. All right. Let's move on to the second one. Another one of the two teams that plays every Thanksgiving. The Dallas, Thanksgiving, the Dallas Cowboys. 
Nine game winning streak for them. They host the Washington Redskins, their biggest division rival, who is uh, similarly playing really well. After starting 0 and 2, they have yep. gone 6 1 and 1 since then. That's right. Only there. dropping to uh, the Lions, actually, and drawing the Bengals. Oh, man. <laughs> that, that ugly 27 27 draw. Not yep. nearly as good as the 6 6 one, for sure. <laughs> yeah. So uh, they this these two teams played week two and Dallas won twenty seven to twenty three in Landover their first win of the year <laughs> yeah and this one's uh, this one's at Jerry World Dallas going for their tenth win uh, you you would think just by the odds of it the Redskins can pull it off but I I would take the Cowboys to cover the seven and a half points or six and a it's, half it's seven right now it's seven. Dallas is a seven point favorite I would still take Dallas uh, they just match up really well against Washington. This, yeah, Washington's rush defense is not good, and Dallas is going to milk the clock down. That, now Washington can counter that by just scoring quickly, to read mm-hmm. or, you know. Uh, yeah, somebody uh, Vernon. Do they have Vernon Davis? Yeah, this they year? do. They do. Uh, uh, Jamison Crowder. I mean, they have they have weapons. They have the weapons, and they can strike quickly. But I just feel like the Cowboys are built to win this kind of game. Yeah, I think they'll envelop Washington in the Battle of the Trenches, and uh, I don't think there's much that the, 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 the dead skins can do about yeah. it. I'm taking Dallas as well. So. Right, so we're, all right, we're both on Dallas. Also, right. um, I believe the nine-game win streak is the longest in franchise history for Dallas. That is, that's a record. That's actually very surprising to me. I, I did not as know As historic that. of a franchise as they are, that's their longest win streak. And I've, I've heard not only how historic, but how good they've been, yeah. too, throughout their history. That's right. Wow. It's, it's not the 90s, but... They're looking really good, and, yeah. and they're built to last. So, yep. As long as Dak continues to play as he's done, yeah, Absolutely. I actually really like Dallas here. All right, uh, the final game of the uh, the Thanksgiving Day. This one's at seven thirty Central. This one's on NBC. The last one's on Fox. Mm-hmm. Uh, this one's the Pittsburgh Steelers on the road against the Indianapolis Colts. Uh, the Colts are an eight-point underdog at home because Andrew Luck has been ruled out. He, <laughs> The Indianapolis Colts will instead be starting the pride of the University of Wisconsin, your boy Scott Tolzien. Eight-point dogs. Eight-point dogs. Wow. I was halfway tempted to take them at six-point dogs until Andrew Luck was officially ruled out. Yeah. I I, I struggled for an upset all week. I was going to pick the Colts as my upset. Until this this I saw, was going to be my and, upset, too. Until but... <laughs> Andrew Luck was out yeah. now. I'm sorry. Yeah. No, a big, now, the Steelers have struggled on the road. Uh-huh. The Colts defense has been very bad. You know, we all know the playmakers that the Steelers have. You know, they've they've dropped eggs on the road at like Miami, Baltimore. Yeah, but those, ne- are neither those are teams. bad teams. Those are decent to good teams. Well, the Colts are five and five. I right, mean... but how much of that is? I, I believe it's just luck and then a few key receivers holding that team together. I mean, in their in their wins, they've scored 26, 29, 34, 31, 24. They're not, I don't think they're scoring above twenty four with Scott Tolzien at quarterback. <laughs> Their losses, they've scored 14, 23, 27, 20, It'll look like that. It's going to look like that. Yeah. Now, I'm not, the Steelers' defense is no fearsome unit, but... I, I mean, think, it's still good run defense, They're though. still good enough, and I just can't trust the Colts no, here. I, I can't see the Colts scoring more than 14 here. I, no. I like the Steelers here. Do not play any Colts receivers or... Yeah, really any Colts. I mean, I might, <laughs> I would, might go Frank Gore, maybe if you need to. Maybe as a flex, but... I wouldn't really consider any Colts players this week. Yeah, I had a tough time picking an upset. I was hoping this would be the one, but I'm not picking Tolson. No. <laughs> I, just, I can't bring myself to do it. Maybe if it was against Landry Jones, but it's not. It is not. All right. Uh, oh, man. Moving on to Sunday. These are We're now into the main the main stretch of games. Uh, let's start with one that uh, I've, I'm pretty confident in. It's not my lock, but... Uh, Got the San Diego Chargers on the road against the Houston Texans. Hmm. Uh, this one's going to be on CBS, as most AFC versus AFC games are. Texans are one and a half point dogs here, despite having the better record of six and four, uh, because the Chargers are four and six, but they are possibly the best four and six team. Yeah, the Chargers are. Oh, them the Saints as well. They're both playing well. They just keep having the the ball not bouncing their way. Yeah, sure. Right. I mean. Once yeah. again, Chargers have only lost by a maximum of eight points this year. Yeah. Um, and they're coming off the bye week. Now, it's always tough to play on the road, but I just don't trust the Houston offense, even with the playmakers and what they were able to do last week. Mm-hmm. I mean, that was against the Raiders. I think the Chargers' defense is better than the Raiders overall as a unit. I mean, yeah. The Raiders' pass defense has not done, has not statistically been what good this year. No, it hasn't. And... um. I would definitely take. I'm gonna take the Steeler, 
No. All right. We'll after try. that cut, we've got Shamil's little brother. He's going to be our guest picker because he's an NFL expert. Yep. Uh, All right. Let him take the first three games. All right. Yeah. Who are you taking out of Minnesota or Detroit? Detroit. Okay. Washington, Dallas. Dallas. And Pittsburgh, Indianapolis. Pittsburgh. All right. Same uh, as us. I hope. I hope he's or coming me. through on the mic. I guess we'll see. You gotta speak up, dude. Pittsburgh. All right. Cool. All right. So, uh... Where were we? Oh, San, San Diego. Diego, Houston. Yeah, so I'm you're gonna go taking with, San Diego? I'm going with the Chargers here. What's yeah. the line? Uh, one and a half Chargers are favored. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna take Houston here for, uh... Ooh. They... Houston impressed me last week against Oakland. They, uh... I, I picked them to win it. They didn't win it, but they they came up just short. And, uh, you know, on the road... Or, I guess... I mean, I guess they were technically on the road. And Mile and a half high stadium. Yeah, no kidding. At Estadio Azteca. Uh, but here they they're actually five and zero at home so far this year. Are they? Yeah, and uh, they play this one at home, and that's that's enough of a reasoning for me to take them. Mm, I feel like that trend will end, but that's because I like Philip Rivers a lot more than Brock the Lobster. Cameron. Brock, Brock, who's there? Von Miller. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Cameron, who's winning this game? Uh, Chargers, Texans. Chargers, because Melvin Gordon's the goat. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oof. All right, moving on to the the gold battle, the battle between the Los Angeles Rams and the New Orleans Saints. Mm. The Rams always beat the Saints. It, it kind of feels like that, doesn't it? At least on the road. Yeah. When the Saints are on the this road. One's, this one's in the Superdome, though. Saints are seven point favorites here against Jared Goff and, and the be. Rams. I think the Saints defense is low key played a lot better than they had previously mm-hmm. they haven't given up more than 30 points in a game in a while which is very significant for yeah, them. yeah no kidding have they given up 30 points all year except for against atlanta oh san diego and carolina right but i'm saying not since those those games yeah once they hit that bi- uh, bye week or right after the bye week they turned a corner or it seems yeah um, i'll take the saints and i would i would take them to cover that spread really I w- if i could i would lock them up here because uh the, the rams defense is great but that offense is just God awful. I think even the Saints defense can take advantage of that. Hmm. Well, your shirt seems to uh, seems to show off your allegiances. Uh, and, uh, I am actually taking Los Angeles here as my upset of the week. I feel bad for doing it, but it's kind of more of a uh, it's kind of a like a what's it called when you're like oh, superstitious it's like a mm-hmm. stu- superstitious Man, thing. is this the trend the rams have beaten the saints yeah. just out of nowhere <laughs> and this team has got to get to seven and nine somehow that's what they do every year under jeff fisher and then this seems like the most likely route to it <laughs> so uh jared Goff gets his first win as an nfl quarterback Ooh. starting and uh yeah there you go all right cam what are you what are your thoughts here i say the saints win but they don't cover the spread they win by three You've been oh. teaching him well, I say. No, I'm just saying that because y'all two said. I just want to say all three. Oh. And never mind. All right. No, I did that because I did my research. All right. Are you ready for the New York Giants on the road against the Cleveland Browns? Browns are gonna cover the spread by fifty points. All right, so this is a seven-point spread here. Uh, That's it? Seven points. Yeah. That's it. Well, it's it's in Cleveland. It's no. in Cleveland. All right, all right. I'm actually I'm actually gonna show off a little bit of cultural awareness here, and I'm gonna make my pick in the uh, the I'm gonna make my picks in the African click language. Giants win. <laughs> and the Giants, huh? Okay, the Giants cover the spread is my pick. Oh man. By a lot. Schmill, do you agree? <laughs> I know you don't like the Giants, but uh, the Browns are. I don't know all the awful. lines. That's the problem. I have trouble picking. I, I've got line. yeah, I've got them in front. Are, are you taking this game as your upset? No. Heck no! <laughs> Get out of here. The Browns are terrible. The Browns, yeah. if they're going to win a game, it's going to be off their bye week against Cincinnati in a few, two weeks. Hmm. Unfortunately. All right. Well, Giants. Let's move on to a real game in the NFC or the AFC North. We get the- We get the Cincinnati Bengals on the road against the Baltimore Ravens. Fine. Um, Balti is a four and a half point favorite here. The Bengals are without now AJ Green and Giovanni Bernard for the rest of yep. the year. Yep, I am going Ravens all the way here. Wow, you are off the bandwagon. <laughs> Doesn't mean I don't like the team. I still like the Bengals. I just uh, they can't. There's no way <laughs> they, yeah. they lost all their their defense was struggling and now they lost their best player. 
Yeah, Ravens have been the benefactor of some pretty lucky breaks as far as their schedule goes, and I think this is the same. Yeah. Getting Cincinnati the week after this happens, I just think this this is the year Cincinnati's playoff uh, playoff streak breaks. It looks right. like they'll be back next year, but this year it's, it looks like it's going to be a lost cause. Yep. So we are both taking Balti here. I am taking Baltimore to win this division still. Yeah, that looks really good of a pick right now. Before they get smacked by the AFC West wild card. Yeah, no, no <laughs> kidding. <laughs> Oh man, I feel bad for, I feel bad for them when they when they're the four seed and they get beat by Denver in the first round or yeah. Kansas City or Oakland. San Diego. Oh Oakland. man, San Diego. Oakland. All right, so who's your pick here? Oh, Baltimore's covering the spread. All right, let's move on to the. We don't pick against the spread. Let's move on to the dirt. What? We don't, we just mentioned the spread. We don't pick against. Yeah. Them. Oh, we just okay. pick. One. So you're taking Baltimore anyway, though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. All right, moving on to the dirty birds against the stinky birds. <laughs> We got the Arizona Cardinals on the road against the Atlanta Falcons, the two A teams, and two teams uh, with very similar color schemes: a, a cardinal red and black. So, that's right. Very very similar teams I'm here. Sure, Atlanta's a heavy favorite. Atlanta's actually only a four point favorite. Only four points. Yeah. Man, they are not seeing the, the writing on the wall with Arizona. I I wanted to lock this one up, but I feel even more confident in one later. But uh, I am yeah I know I'm taking I'm taking Atlanta here all the way. Yeah, I I have to as well. Is it eligible for a lock? You said four. It is eligible for a lock. I'm gonna lock up Atlanta here. All right. Against my Cardinals, I just this Cardinals team is struggling. Yep. Even yeah. though David David Johnson is no, he's still he's, he's still a, he's the best running back in the league. He right looks now, like he's the best player in the NFL right now. He I don't know if I'd say best player yet. I would say best player right uh, now. I I don't no, know who else then. it would I be. I I would say right now David Johnson is the best player. Then in the league. Marco Murray. He's definitely the breakout guy as far as, as far as like actual NFL because he's not a fantasy breakout because he was like being drafted first round. But as far as actual NFL, he has been I think even right. better than people. So Cam Cardinals, Cardinals at Falcons. Who you got? Falcons. Man, Birds. you're just picking the same as me. I'll pick first next time. <sighs> but I'll pick the same as him. Ah. <laughs> All right, we got the Jacksonville Jaguars on the road against the Buffalo <laughs> Bills. <laughs> Yeah. No, this is <laughs> Jaguars are two and eight on the road against the five and five Bills, and uh, this this spread is at seven and a half. Buffalo is favored to go above five hundred here. Now, as far as Buffalo's schedule goes, now after this game, they've got at Oakland versus Pittsburgh, then versus Cleveland versus Miami versus New York, or at New York Jets. That's all. That's mostly manageable. This for team them. can go nine and seven or ten and six. I don't know if that's enough for the playoffs, but and the AFC maybe not with the way the AFC West is looking. But, but all the teams still have to play each other again. Yeah, that's a, that's a, at least a loss guaranteed. If they were in the north or the south, I would actually feel very confident about them making the playoffs. But it's it's a tough buy here. But it, I mean, even going ten and six, that would be a, that would be a hell of a season for them. Absolutely, um, I'll have to go with. I mean, I'm, I'm taking the Bills. <laughs> I said I was gonna pick first. Oh, whoops! Jacksonville's gonna win. I'm Jacksonville's joking. winning. I'm joking, it. I'm joking. I'm joking. The Bills, and I got. I'm going to my friend's house. All I right. To... What the? All right. What was the point of it? <laughs> Why'd you even come when you knew you had to leave? I you too. All right. Oh my God. So, uh, so who's your pick here? Jesus Christ! I'm Do you take the Bills? I'm gonna take the Bills. All right. I'm also taking the Bills. Oh my God. This All is right. Stupid. All right. Let's move on. Sam- San Francisco at Miami. Uh, line is seven and a half. I've got to take Miami here. Miami, I'm still not confident as a playoff team, but uh, the the, the 49ers are not playing good. No, at they're all, not. they're not. They've lost nine straight now. <laughs> that man, that week one game is sure a long time ago. Twenty eight nothing, man. Can you believe it? No. <laughs> I understand the Rams are. Uh, but this week, my upset is not San Francisco. <laughs> okay. Miami wins. Nice fake out. You know, you really got me. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm taking Miami here too. I I'm not so confident though they'll cover. No, I'm not either. But uh, I just still don't believe in Miami. You know, they won five. I don't either. I could see them going eight and eight or seven and nine again. But uh, I don't know. I mean, they're better than we had preseason with them. Yeah, like, yeah, wins. no, I've got a yeah, I had them winning four or five. So they've already beaten that. All right. All right. 
Tennessee Titans on the road against the Chicago Bears. Bears are four and a half point underdogs at home. Now that they've lost their entire team, basically. Jay Cutler's out. Zach Alshon Miller. Jeffrey's still suspended. Zach Miller's out. Jarrell Freeman is their best defensive player is out for four I games. I would have taken the Bears as an upset the second week in a row had they had their players, but nope. Titans. Yes. Titans did not impress me at all last week. Uh, they kind of let me down against the Colts, but uh, I think Roll they Titans. won this one bounce back. And that, then Pride of Nashville. Sorry, I can't take the Bears. Yeah. I can't the either. Bears. They're gonna they're gonna go they're gonna finish with a losing record this year. Who? The Bears. What? <laughs> I mean they're two and eight now. What? I'll just mention it. What? Mentioning it. Alright, that's the end of the uh, the noon games. Let's move on to the afternoon games. Uh, starting with the Seattle Seahawks on the road against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, the battle between the nineteen seventy six expansion teams. Yes, that's fun, right. Fun fact about that: the Buccaneers spent their first season in the AFC and the Seahawks in their NF in the NFC before they switched after one season. I knew the the um, Seahawks were different, but I did not know that the yeah they I don't know why they switched, but they did, and then the Seahawks spent the next quarter century in the AFC before moving back into the NFC. So there you go. I don't know. The Buccaneers I, were great that first year. Yeah, man, they they did so well. I think they scored less than like ten touchdowns on the season. That or wasn't surprise. They were they were awful. <laughs> But, uh, we're not alive Browns. for that. But uh, anyway, uh, this time Seahawks are seven two and one. Bucks are five and five. I don't know why I'm mentioning it. it's gonna. I'm I'm moving I'm moving the records to the graphics. I don't know why I keep mentioning them. <laughs> but uh, anyway, Tampa's a six point underdog here at Raymond James Stadium. Is that enough for you to go Buccaneers? I know you're still not sold on the Seahawks. How many points? Six points. I, I can't deny the Seahawks are great, but. I'm, I'll take Tampa to get the upset. Upset of the week? Upset of the week. Upset of the week. I need an upset anyway, and I'm kind of fishy on this one. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like the Seahawks are going to drop a game at some point. Yeah, I don't think... I, I still think this team is a pretty easy division winner at this point, but uh, they'll lose one somewhere. Oh, yeah, they'll they'll, be, they'll win that, the, AFC, the <sighs> NFC West. There's no one else that can challenge I mean, them. at this point, they're, they're two games... No, I'm sorry, they're three games ahead of Arizona. For yeah, first. that's they, pretty ridiculous. Next game's in Seattle, which is very. They're probably not going to win. So, them is in the, the Cardinals. So yeah, uh, the Seattle's basically got the West locked up. If the Cardinals had won that game, it looks a little different than being now two games behind. But yeah, it's it, it'll be a, a, a long climb up for the Cardinals, but I don't think they will. Yeah, no, especially if our predictions ring true and uh, and the Cardinals end up four games behind Seattle after the week. I mean, shoot, that's, mm. that's, that doesn't look good. <laughs> no. All right. All right, moving on. Carolina Panthers on the road against the Oakland Raiders. Uh, Raiders are three-point uh, home favorites here over the Carolina Panthers. Can I just real quick lock this bad boy up? Oakland is dominating this game. I want I would like Vegas him. is giving Oakland so much shade right now. It's unbelievable. That's disgraceful. The way these two teams have played, how much more do the Raiders have to do? I know, they just right? Keep winning. They're winning close games. They're getting blowouts. They're beating good teams. They're beating bad teams. They're beating everybody other than the Falcons and the Chiefs, which Oh no. <laughs> yeah, I, I know, right? Oh no. <laughs> I mean, we're talking about a Panthers team that lost to Tampa. New Orleans. And New Orleans. And Atlanta. Atlanta's not bad. And a Minnesota, lost... Denver, and KC aren't necessarily bad either. But... Yeah, but that was it all set home to the Vikings, and that looks like an awful... And that wasn't even close. That game was not close at all. Dude, Carolina, at this point, still has Oakland, Seattle, and Washington on the road. They're, they're going they have to win one, at least one of those and win out at home and beat Tampa on the road, or else they're going to finish the losing record. They're going to have a losing record, and they're not making the playoffs. No, this set. is... Game, set, and match. This but is, the Raiders, this is though, the Super Bowl hangover. Raiders man. are going to win this game, and I think it's in a convincing fashion. Guess what? If Oakland wins this game, this will be Oakland's first winning season since 2002. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy, but it's going to happen unless they lose their next six. No, and they're not going to. They're not going the to. The schedule's not that bad for no, them. No, it's really not. Oakland finishes Don't with, they still have da- Jacksonville left? They No, they don't, but they have Buffalo at home and then at KC and at San Diego and then versus Indy at Denver. So they could, they'll probably finish 11-5, and 10-6, somewhere, 12-4, somewhere in that range, but that's a fantastic season. For so this franchise. Uh, yeah, and I think they'll win this one and improve to 9-2. and two. Here we go. Next game. All right, we got. All right, we got the New England Patriots on the road against the uh, New York Jets. 
Uh, the Jets, a team that both of us liked preseason. Well, I guess I can't say I really liked them. I'd have been at 8-8. Eight, eight eight. Right. But uh, I liked them a lot last year. Does that count? I was drinking the green Kool-Aid. And... <laughs> can't drink the green Kool-Aid here. Patriots win. What's his line, anyway? The line is at 7.5 points. I'm still taking the Patriots. Yeah. I, mean, I already have lock and upset done, huh? Yeah, so, right, uh, so, yeah. so we're done with Patriots that. Patriots here. We don't pick them every week, but that's generally a safe thing to do if yeah. you want to make money on a season. Pick the Patriots every yeah. week. Fun fact, Patriots win this game. They clinch their 16th straight winning season. <laughs> that just means you... That means you both are good, and you're in a garbage division. You have, it has to be both. If you're good, yeah. and your division's good, you won't win it every time. Yeah, no, the Bills and Dolphins have been pretty much entirely mediocre over the last 16 years, yep. and the Jets have had some good teams, but also some bad teams. They've never so. been enough to challenge... The, for over a course of a season, challenge the Patriots. Yeah, not even the Sanchez teams. Ugh. At butt fumble. At butt fumble. Ah, right. Thanksgiving play, actually, right? Yeah, <laughs> right? <laughs> Man, I wish that would have been a Thanksgiving game instead of Steelers Colts, but whatever. <laughs> All right, Sunday night football. Well, Kansas City Chiefs on the road against the Denver Broncos. Whoo, I'm ready for this one. I'm ready for this one. Uh, so, uh, Broncos at home are three-point favorites, which means Vegas sees these two teams at even. That's Both right. teams are at seven and three, so I can't argue with that, honestly. Yeah. What's your pick here? My pick is Broncos, just because they're the team I was higher on preseason, and my opinion on either of these teams have really changed. You know my opinions. On I know your opinions on this game. I'm rolling game. with the Broncos to win this really? game at home. You know what? That makes sense why you didn't make this one your upset. Then. Yeah, otherwise it would have probably... I mean, I just didn't get it realistically. The Chiefs have been struggling the last two weeks. They should have lost at Carolina two weeks ago. And then they lost they to lost Tampa. They lost to Tampa at home, and that's significant. I mean, yeah. this this Chiefs team had won, like, what, 18 out of the last 20 games or something? Some, something some of them, well, yeah, I guess regular season games. Yeah. yeah, okay, then 18 of the last 21 or 17 of 19, whatever the stat is. But they've been on a roll. Yeah. And... Yeah, this isn't good. <laughs> yeah, and Denver's coming off the bye, too. They host the Chiefs. You exactly, gotta yeah. that in. And that's why I'm not taking the Chiefs here to win. Oh, I'd love to. I'm not going to. All right. I do think they'll split, like, the home and homes. Yeah. Uh, have these two teams played this season yet? They have not. Oh, okay. So they, they play the end of the year. They play, yeah, week 16. All right. Final game, the uh, battle between two shades. Green... <laughs> The, uh, the Green Bay Packers in their dark shade versus the midnight green of Philadelphia Eagles. Why are the Packers still in prime time? <laughs> oh, they did this preseason. Okay, so. that's probably... Uh, that must be it then. Uh, this game looked all right preseason. And then, like, after week two or three, I was frothing over this game. Now, not so much. Eagles are four-point favorites at home. I, I'm kind of surprised they're not higher. I've got to take the Eagles well, here. There's always attacks on popular teams like Packers, Patriots, Steelers. Those yeah. big media teams, they get... More people bet on them because they they're more fans that like right. those teams. Yeah, but um, um, Packers versus Eagles. I've heard of this team. I'll, uh, Aaron Rodgers, right? Mm-hmm. I'll take the. I'll I'm take taking the, the Eagles here. I've Packers are not looking good. Their defense is looking abysmal. Yep. But um, the Eagles have not played well either. They've lost four or five. But I think they'll. they'll I think that might be more of a schedule thing than anything. Maybe though. so. I mean, they've lost to Dallas, the Giants, the Seahawks, and the Redskins. And the Lions, so they've lost five of their last seven. I think they're winless. In all the of those are all those are playoff teams right now, right? Yeah, uh, they're yeah they are winless in division actually. But um, I would I'm not gonna put too much on it. I think the Eagles will bounce back and yeah. still compete for a wild card spot. They may not get it. I don't see two NFC East teams getting in. I feel like someone's gonna fall off. Yeah, I know what someone you think that'll be, but maybe not. I mean, it could be both. To be honest, I don't I'm know. Looking at but... between Washington and and uh, New York. Based on pure record, I'd have to say the Redskins are more likely to be that team to collapse. Yeah. And the Giants, I guess, are, their defense is playing pretty good. And that's what puts them above the Redskins in my mind. Right. And their record's better right now. Mm-hmm. For the game against the Browns to come. So. They should be 8-3 and three after this week. Yeah, Packers are not making the playoffs this year. Packers may finish with a losing record this year. Yep. I mean, you know, after this game, you, they still play Seattle. They still play Minnesota and Detroit. They still play Houston. Yeah. <laughs> Five and eleven Green Bay Packers. <laughs> yeah, it's maybe. not that crazy. No, it's not. <sighs> I knew, I'm glad I was down on them this year. It's not as much as I should have been. Fifteen and one. Uh. Yep. Yeah. Hey, the Steelers, right? Yeah. Gosh. Good point. And I had who did you I have? Bengals at thirteen and three or fourteen and two or something. So we we all have our duds, man. We mm-hmm. all have our duds. I also had Minnesota pretty high up. 
and oh, that still can happen. But we could, we'll make a video at the end of the season reviewing. Yeah, we'll have like a retrospective or something. But uh, this is the first time doing this. We'll get better as we go. Yeah. Yeah, that about wraps it up. We'll have our picks rolling at the end. Right yeah. All Where right. Josh's whenever they come in. Yep. So, uh, we'll go ahead and comment who you think will win in some of our games as well, if you wish, and like the video if you enjoyed.